everyone. This is Alf Actinus here with the Actiris team. Today, we have another exciting use case for you around the sales and operations planning process, specifically around production planning and how to deal with supply replenishment quantities for products that are exceeding a production plan capacity in a given week. Now, before getting into the use case, let's talk about a typical challenge that many companies face when going through a production planning process. After the demand plan process has been submitted for the production planning process, typically what the production planning team is looking for is to see that all the quantities that are in demand for certain products can be met by the production plants where they're produced based on the capacity that can be utilized within the plant itself. And typically it might not be easy to be able to spot out where there are situations where quantity cannot be fulfilled based on a production plant's capacity being exceeded. So with Actiris, we're going to show you how easy it is to be able to identify which week has a capacity issue, which product has a capacity issue, and which region has a capacity issue. We can see right here on our page right here, the rough cut capacity planning page is that we have an alert right now showcasing that our production capacity is being exceeded for certain products. And if we look at the bottom right here, we can see in conditional formatting, which weeks where we're having these issues. We can also see in the top right corner, each of our products, as well as the given week, the production plan, as well as the region where this issue is happening. So what I can do here is I can filter my data to that particular week and that particular product, pro um, that particular uh, production plan where we're having this issue. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in G5 in order to bring back my product where I'm having this issue. I'm gonna go ahead and select G5 right here. And now what's gonna happen is our data is gonna filter down to show us where our production plan is having an issue. So we can see right here that for this particular production plan, we have a capacity of 500, yet the supply replenishment is showing 6,000. So we're having an issue here where the supply replenishment has far exceeded our capacity. However, we can see that we have other production plans online that we can move that quantity to. So we know that we're going to need to have a 6,000 supply replenishment. However, we can't meet that particular replenishment. So we're going to need to spread out that quantity to other production plants over different weeks. So what we can do here is hitting the edit button, we can use the multi-select feature to be able to edit individual weeks and move that supply replenishment to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select these given weeks right here for this particular production plant that has capacity. That way we can move this particular demand. So I know that the production requirements are 500 right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to move this to a few different plants right here. I'm going to move this to our next gen fabrication plant. So I'm going to do five different entries right here, and we're going to move that um, amount of roughly 400 right here. So I'm going to do 400 here for five, 400 here for five. That's going to bring us to 2,000. And then 400 here for these four. And then I'm going to change my original supply replenishment to 400 here. So by typing in 400, in the, in the value section right here, hitting save, we have now adjusted our capacity. And now what I can do here is I can move this particular number from 6,000 to 500 due to the fact that I just moved that quantity out to different areas. Hitting save right here, this will go ahead and adjust our capacity. And now we are in line and our production is okay. We're all good now. We have now met our production capacity, and we're no longer having an issue with this particular prop in this particular week. And now we can move on to the next week to make further adjustments and continue that process. And just like that, it can be quite easy for you to quickly move around production, have those conversations with individuals to ensure that you're able to meet that demand and push it out appropriately to ensure that production plants underutilize and overutilize are appropriately allocated. Thank you in advance. I hope you enjoyed this use case. And this is Alp Actinus signing out.